Hi guys, and thanks for watching my video of the top 10 tools for engineers on Bluebeam Review version 20. So first and foremost, if you guys don't know what Bluebeam is, uh, Bluebeam is a PDF program, uh, review program, I guess, uh, specifically for tailored to architects, contractors, and engineers. Uh, all the tools they include in here are have the construction industry in mind. So everything they do is for the ease of the industry. So first and foremost, this is a PDF manipulating tool. So anything you um, want and expect in Acrobat, Adobe Acrobat, it, you can find it here in Bluebeam as well. So for example, if you want to move this first page down to the seventh page, you can just go to the thumbnails on the left and click and drag and go all the way down. And now you've essentially moved your page one into the page seven slot. Uh, your documents, um, in the, under the document, you can also rotate, insert, extract, replace, delete pages like you would expect from a PDF manipulating tool. All right, so that is the first thing I like about this Bluebeam program. So the next thing I want to show you guys is the split vertical view. So what this is, is it actually splits the view into two and it actually is the same document. So anything you write onto here, say you drew a circle here, you can actually see on the left hand side, it's not a separate program. Sorry, it's not a separate file, it's the same file itself. So anything edits you make here, um, you can, it, and then you save it, it's all in the same file. And the cool thing about it is because um, we are glazing engineers, so what we need to see is the elevations and then we can actu actually see the corresponding details. Uh, for example, the sill detail is right here. So anything I can make, I can directly view the elevation and the detail on the same screen. Uh, you can split it any way you want. Uh, you can split it in vertically, you can split hor horizontally, you can split three, you can split four, if you have a wide enough screen. So I like that. So the other thing is, so the third thing I like about this Bluebeam is the snapshot tool. Uh, essentially, it is a screen trimming, screen capture tool. So right now, if you just put the rectangle, snapshot rectangle on the screw, you can actually take the screenshot of the screw and place it anywhere you want. So say, for example, I want three screws on this uh, header detail. I can just snapshot and snapshot and copy and paste three screws there. Or if you want to, if they say, you know, they forgot some screw detail callouts, you can also uh, snapshot their uh, texts and you can also fill it in as well. So it covers everything and you can actually fill it in and you can make a call out to that uh, screw as well if you want to, like so. So to make it actually look like the person actually drafted it. Okay, so the other thing, the fourth thing I like about this is there's a markups list at the bottom. So you actually see who the author is. So for example, uh, maybe multiple people work on this drawing from the technician, from the uh, you know calculating engineer um, up all the way to the review engineer or anyone who's reviewing, they can actually see who the author is and they can sort it out based on the author and stuff like that. So for example, for this one, um, so this blue box here is technically only from the EIT. It's an EIT note um, all the way to the review engineer. So the client, the contractor actually don't need to see this. So what you can do is actually, um, so this one is that. So you can actually make it into a layer. So say for example, there wasn't a layer yet. Uh, you can actually click on that and then assign it a layer or create a new layer if you want. And you can label anything you want, engineering note only. And then on the left hand side, you can go to layers. And once you submit it to the client, you can actually, if you want, close all the engineering notes only. Just click on the eyeball and everything will disappear. And so they're left, the contractor and the client is only left with the things you need to show them to make changes to their shop drawings. Uh, for these, for examples, you can also have statuses. You can. As a review engineer, you can also uh, accept it or you can reject it and then you can push it back to um, the EIT or the technician uh, to revise their drawing. So this is another cool thing you can do. Um, so you can see there's a lot of different types of um, markup tools and these are all customizable. These are all uh, on the left-hand side in your toolbox. So you can 
say for example you so most of your tools are on the right hand side um, some are hidden in the menu but say you drew an arrow and it's like oh i really like that arrow you'll see it in the recents page uh, tab and you can actually drag and drop into your toolbox and this toolbox is always going to be here uh, if you don't like this oh i don't like this red arrow after like two days you can delete it uh, I already have an arrow, so I don't need that. I can make different arrow ends. I can make this uh, default properties to be thicker, right? I can make this two uh, a little bigger instead of the one. Uh, I can change that. Um, I can just change this one if I want to. Uh, there's a cloud plus where it shades a cloud and then you can actually type something as a call out and you can actually have no fill at all if you want. You can have fills, your opacity is here. A bunch of uh, your font as well so lots of customizable things i picked orange uh, you can pick whatever color you want uh, this is cool um this sequential bubble thing and actually if you click it it actually keeps going up in number so you can actually use that as well um, there's a bunch of clouds uh, circles lines here and there there's also a pen so if you have a digital pen or a surface book you can actually just draw directly on if you want. Again, you can change your point, you can change your color as well. There's also a highlighter tool. So you say, for example, I want to highlight that. Okay, so that's highlighted. Boom, done, right? So um, all these things are customizable. Uh, all these tabs are customizable on the left-hand side. You can uh, delete them if you want. You can add more if you want. There's a bunch of templates from Bluebeam's uh, website that you can download and maybe make your review uh, journey a little easier as well. Uh, the other thing I like about it is the review stamp. So again, um, so how I did that was actually the submittal review was a template. The programmable submittal review uh, stamp was from Bluebeam's website and you can actually download it, import it, and then you can actually edit. And so we're late in consulting, but you can actually put any you know, logo or anything you want there. So you just go to stamp and then the most recent one will always be at the top and then a javascript uh, thing will a window will pop out like so and then you can just click on that and then you have a review stamp um, for your client on the front page okay so the next thing i like about bluebeam is say for example you have a calculation page uh, like you print or calculation package where you printed a bunch of Word documents, Excel documents, and you kind of all stapled it together. So the, obviously they don't have a singular and universal page number. Um, here in Bluebeam, you can actually go to documents, headers and footers. You can actually add headers and footers. And what do I mean by that? And so you can actually add page numbers directly onto the PDF of the combined PDF, whatever you want. And then you can click and you can change your font and stuff like that. Um, and voila. So it's actually quite useful if you have printed PDF pages from multiple sources um, where they don't have a universal page number, uh, page number, uh, numbering technique, right? Um, so you can add that on directly into Bluebeam. Um, so of course, uh, there are also measuring and quantity takeoff tools. So let's go to this cleaner page. Uh, so as you can see in the general measuring box, there are area calculations. Uh, so you can quickly draw a rectangle. Say you want to do a quantity takeoff and you quickly draw a rectangle. Um, if you calibrated, I've already calibrated this uh, sheet. Um, it actually gives you the quantity takeoff right there and then. Uh, for measuring, let's say at the end, um, let's say for this one, let's say you want to draw, you want to measure, I don't know, the, the width of this um, patch. You can calibrate, click calibrate there, um, and then you can go to inches, and this is two inches. And you can apply your scale to your current page, you can apply your scale to all your pages, or a custom range. So for us, glazing engineers, we would have a different scale for elevations and a detail page. So it's quite useful there. And then you can have, and you have all your measuring tools that you need uh, from angles to radiuses, to your lengths, to your poly lengths, to areas. And then you can just click here and measure. Uh, you can also change the unit itself at the top. Uh, you can change it to, for length, oh, I want it to be inches, uh, stuff like that. Um, Another cool thing is you also in properties over here on the left. Um, if you want to write something there like uh, minimum 
or engineering. Let's say you want engineering. You can actually have uh, custom texts as well in your measuring tools. So lastly, the bonus feature of Bluebeam is they have lots of plugins into Microsoft Word, Excel, and mainly the thing I think I like is the Windows Explorer plugin. So uh, as you can see, if I just click two PDFs, I can actually combine those files and staple them together like so. Uh, let's say I just uh, say combined, um, and then you just click OK, and then you staple it together, and it'll open it directly here. So that is the cool part. Um, yeah, so yeah, so that's just a bonus feature that's outside of the program that's quite useful. So again, thanks for watching uh, this video of Bluebeam and the top uh, 10 or 11 tools that are good for reviewing engineer shop drawings. And if you have any comments or questions, please comment below and or contact me directly. Uh, again, thank you for watching this video. Have a good day.